<laughs> Going into this weekend's competition, the team admits that some of their best gamers who are at the controls, but to get this far, they've needed a long list of skilled students to back them up. We need people who are good at CAD drawings. You also need physics guys to, um, for the theory for the robot. You need people who can manufacture the robot, so construct it. The BEST, or best competition in the U.S., is meant to grow involvement and excitement for students in the fields of science and technology. And it couldn't come at a more important time as a national report by Let's Talk Science recently found only 12% of Canadian students are interested in working in science-related jobs. It's really advanced. This didn't exist when I was in high school. It's amazing. It's, it's absolutely uh, everything that, that we are looking for in, in kind of a modern student. Standardized testing of students across Canada found Manitoba kids score significantly below the national average for both math and science. But this team is a shining example of some of our best. We put in three hours every day, one and a half in the morning sometimes, and two in the af two after school for sure. Most of us are here till 5.30 every day. And on Saturdays, we come in at 8 o'clock and we leave at 2. With an atmosphere more like a football competition, the team won their ticket to the finals during the qualifier back in October. Proud to be the only Canadians in the competition, their robot has been dubbed Maple 2.0. And far from home, they're even bringing some familiar Canadian faces to help fill out their cheering section. But despite the hope for a win, it appears the goal of this competition has already been a success, with students taking their education far from the pages of textbooks. I want to end up being a vocational teacher, so I go into U of W and Red River. Um, you can apply the theory you learn in physics class to the robot, right? Because, I mean, in, in physics, in math, and in every other class you learn theory, right? You don't learn the actual application. So this way you can apply your theory in, in real life, which is really interesting. For Breakfast Television, I'm Natalie Gass.